God lives and works today, and the Apostle John says of him, God is love. Love, however, longs to receive love in return, for then it can share and give all of itself. Listen to today's meditation by Basile Schlink called, Jesus is waiting for our love. After the resurrection, the first question Jesus asked his disciple Peter was, Do you love me? This question tells us that we are allowed to and supposed to love Jesus. That is the most wonderful news I've ever heard. For love makes us happy. Think how happy we are when we really love a person with a pure and deep love. But what is a person and a human love compared to Jesus and His love? After all, people can't completely satisfy us. A bridegroom always waits for his bride to come to him so that he can carry on a dialogue of love with her. In a quite different way from an earthly bridegroom, and much more intensely, Jesus is yearning to have fellowship with us and to hear us speak words of love. Jesus, in whom is contained the essence of all love, he is waiting for us. He wants to speak to us in our hearts. He yearns to have an intimate relationship of love with us. Yes, Jesus is waiting for our love. As important to God as our obedience to his commandments is, obedience is not enough. For obedience doesn't necessarily yield the eternal divine life. Love does not necessarily pulsate through it. Jesus is pulsating life and love, and he wants to impart his nature to us. Therefore, only our love, which stems from the divine eternal life which he has granted to us, is the proper response to his love for us. This love leads us to keep his commandments, which are his wishes for us. His love cannot rest until we love him in return, and our hearts are filled with one triumphant exclamation, O oh, none can be loved as is Jesus. It is a fact. We are allowed to and can love Jesus. And I've experienced that to love Jesus truly means to love the most beautiful, glorious, and greatest of the sons of men. To love Jesus means to be endlessly rich and happy. Therefore pray that the Lord will grant this love to you and that it will burn in your heart like a bright flame. Let God show you what is hindering this love in your heart and then remove every hindrance. Then the love of Jesus will incline itself and fill your heart. This program by Basileia Schlink has come to you from the little land of Canaan. If you would like a free leaflet by the same author, please write to God Lives and Works Today, 9849 North 40th Street, Phoenix, Arizona, 85028-4099. That's God Lives and Works Today, 9849 North 40th Street, Phoenix, Arizona, 85028-4099. God bless you.